What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over vector synthesis. It's much like wave scanning where you have a number of waveforms here and you scan in between them and morph in between them and create new timbres. The vector is an XY controller with four waveforms that you can morph between uh, two or three or four uh, waveforms and you can get all new timbres that way. There's two modes. 1D is a traditional XY controller and 2D is what we're going to be working with today. Uh, so two things you need to know. Uh, each of these has a waveform selector, and you'll just load up a square. And we morph in between them. Right, you'll notice that that's uh, four tones higher. So the integer is like the base note. So the an integer of zero would be nothing. Integer of one would be, you know, it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. So one would be the, the root note of whatever you're playing is the sound that's coming out. And this is how you create harmonics, and this is additive in uh, additive synthesis you'll notice that they're creating harmonics above the fundamental right and uh, if you have like 500 and something of these you can create any sound in the world but that's way out of the scope of what I can explain so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it as kind of uh, an additive you know let's make something crazy we can make a sawtooth square right and then we can add a bit of we'll set these both to integer one right so typically we can add a square to a saw to give it a bit more bite we can also add a uh we'll go with saw this is a saw we can add a sine wave to a saw to give it a bit more bottom we can add a square to we can add a sine wave to a square Let's give it a bit more nintendo-ish stuff we can also just load in a random we'll go random waveform again there we go We can just keep on loading randoms because these this is where you'll get like your upper harmonics which sound harmonically pleasing another thing we can do is we can set this to integer of 12 so it's an octave up all right so we can do all sorts of fun stuff that way i'll load one more waveform let's see what we get Right, uh, and that is the vector aspect of this. You can do all sorts of fun things. You can map this to a controller um, via X and Y. That's what you call it, an XY controller, and it's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, you can add unison and you can modulate it, and it's quite interesting. Um, yeah, that's uh, it for the vector. It's somewhat like the wave scanning, but different and a new way to do it. And you can get some really interesting tones and uh, morph between all of your different uh, single cycle waveforms, even the ones you've loaded in. And that way, you get interesting timbres. All right, I've rambled on enough. Uh, we'll be back with some more fun stuff.